and welcome to my tutorial on the Mature Mesh Body Update version 5. To get your new body just teleport over to the main store and click the redelivery terminal and you will receive your update. I've unpacked my new body and I'm wearing it. Make sure that you've got the latest update because there have been a couple of bugs in the first one and the major mesh body that you should be wearing now is version 5.0.2. If you already got the body when it first came out and you want to make sure that you've got the right update, just click on the HUD, go to miscellaneous, and just get a redelivery, and that will make sure that you've got the very latest version. I'm wearing the mesh bra and panties, the body alpha to hide the system body, the HUD and the Lara mesh body. There's no separate hands and feet in this one, it's all together. Okay, so let's have a look at the HUD. On the alpha layer, you've got the hands and the feet added on, and you've got an extra alpha cut on the wrists and the ankles. Over to layers, first of all, let's have a look at what it was on the old system. On the old HUD, you had three invisible layers that were integrated onto your mesh body. This is so that you could purchase appliers and have a tattoo layer, underwear layer and a clothes layer for your mesh body. Now this created all kinds of glitches, the first one being on your hair as you can see here. Now I have got a tattoo layer and an underwear layer on and another glitch is if you zoom out you see how the tattoo disappears. This is because the layers are stacked one on top of the other. The tattoo layer is the bottom layer, then you have the underwear and then the clothes. Wait, the way around this was to use these mask mode buttons to get it back again, but then it degrades your un uh, yeah your underwear layer and doesn't look as good. So if you take mask mode off, you see it makes it look better, but then as soon as you zoom out, that happens. So, not very good, but the best that we could do, uh, what we got at the time. Of course, now we've got Bakes on Mesh, which I will explain to you later, and that gets rid of all these problems. Now on to the Layers tab. If you are using layers with appliers, then keep watching. But if you're going to be using the Bakes on Mesh layers, fast forward to the Bakes on Mesh section of this tutorial. The timestamp for that is in the description below. In the new HUD, the layers have been separated, as you can see they're not there, and they have been put into your Matria body folder. So now you only have to wear the layers that you are using. Okay, so I am going to wear the tattoo layer in this example, and the underwear layer. When you first wear the layers, it does give you a set of instructions, which is quite helpful. The first thing you need to do is clear the layer. Whichever layer is highlighted is the layer we're working with at the moment. So I've done the underwear layer, I need to highlight the tattoo layer and clear that off as well. If I decided that I wasn't going to wear any appliers, I can detach the layers just by clicking this cross here. And that one. Sometimes if you click it too quickly, the layer doesn't go. In which case, you just press this little reset button and then it should clear it out for you. Right, I'm going to put the layers back on that I want to use. I want to sort out the tattoo layer first, so select the tattoo layer. As you can see, the mannequin on the right has it all highlighted. And in the new HUD, you can choose which section of the body that you want your tattoo applied to. At the moment, the whole lot is highlighted. So the tattoo would go on to every part. But in this example, I just want the top half of the body for the tattoo to go on to. So I'm going to deselect the parts I don't want it on. Okay, I just want, in this example, I just want it on the top half. The white means it will be applied to, the grey it won't apply to. Now I just need to find 
my tattoo applier. I'm going to use the tattoo layer, make sure the tattoo layer is highlighted. I'm going to go for medium. There you see it's just gone on the top half. You also have a button hide show button and say I just didn't want what was on the hands showing. I just click that and you see it hides it for you and then oh I want it back again and then it comes back again. Now I can apply a different tattoo to the same layer. So I'm going to choose a different tattoo, find the applier, go to my mannequin, um, this time I'm going to put none and this time I'm going to highlight the parts I want. So it's just on this leg here. And there you see it's just gone on to that part there. So you can see how you can mix and match different tattoos. Now the feet on the tattoo layers has toes instead of a toe cap. So you can have a tattoo on an individual toe. It does however mean that this layer won't work for socks or stockings because you need a toe cap for those. I'll just quickly show you how it doesn't work on socks and stockings. So if I to use it as a tattoo layer, see because it's individual toes and not a toe cap it doesn't work. So just use it as an underwear layer. See it covers it okay. So that's the basics on the layers. Let's just quickly go through the other tabs and see what's new in the other sections. On the skin you've got a few more skin presets and you have presets for your nipples as well and a choice of three nipple shapes. Here is the magic bakes on mesh button. I will show you that in the tutorial later on. There's one thing I wanted to show you in the advanced section which I think is really cool and that's this material presets for the skins you'll only be able to see it if you have advanced lighting on or you turn your graphics up so I'm going to turn my graphics up I have to be there or ultra and then you can see the wet look in the skin preset 3 I think that's pretty cool and it will work on your bakes on, on mesh layers as well. Hands and feet, you've got two new foot shapes, you've got kitten heel and you've got a belly foot shape and you can choose individually left or right. So you could have a left foot that's flat and a right foot that's a kitten heel. And the miscellaneous tab which I think is really handy, TV to store, your help, if you want to go into the more advanced stuff that I haven't covered on here reset your scripts and re-deliver. I hope this tutorial was helpful in helping you get a quick start for your new mesh body. And now on to the bakes on mesh section of the tutorial. Before mesh was introduced in October 2013, this is what our avatars looked like. These are now called classic avatars. Then mesh bodies and mesh heads came along. So we had to hide our system bodies so we could wear the mesh body. Classic avatars use system layers. Here's what the icons of the system layers look like in your inventory. The icons might look slightly different depending on which viewer you are using, but you can work out what's what. The skin and the tattoo layer will cover the body all in one. The skin layer is slightly different to all the other layers. 
because it can only be replaced it can't be taken off and it can only wear one skin at a time and you perhaps notice that the skin makers are now using tattoo layers for their skins because some of the system skins don't fit perfectly on the hands and feet and make it a tattoo layer fixes that all the other layers can be used more than once i think you can have up to 42 times on one layer so for example you could have 42 tattoos if you wanted don't know why you would but yeah it's there if you want it layers will paint on top of one another kind of like in a stacking system so for example a jacket layer will paint over the top of a shirt or a vest layer i'll just demonstrate that for you this top layer here i'm wearing as a shirt layer so if i go into this one and i put it on as a jacket layer see how that goes over the top but if i take it off and put it on as a vest layer you see that it goes underneath and what bakes on mesh does is allow you to use all these layers onto your mesh body and your mesh head okay so let's put the mesh body back on and make the magic happen <laughs> So I'm going to wear the bra again. And the mesh body. We no longer need to hide our system body. And you go to your hood and press the bakes on mesh button. Ta da! that is bakes on mesh i've just taken the clothes layers off now i'm going to put that tattoo on there's the tattoo i can't hide parts like i could before unless the creator has made them separate applier layers will still work on bakes on mesh so you could just do your selections that way another item in your matrix mesh body folder is the bakes on mesh add-on part you add that and then wear the hood as well this allows parts of your texture to look more natural say for example on your top area here you can see that the difference that it makes you can toggle that on and off just makes it more natural so that the textures don't look so painted on this is useful if I want to wear socks a sock layer just add You can see you can see the toes still so you just toggle the add-on part and there it covers it up okay so we're nearly done bear with me just one more thing to show you and that is the save stick and that replaces the save slots in your old hood first you need to register stick out to the ground and rename it right click edit rename it here once you've renamed it take it back into your inventory okay now you've taken it back wear it now you can save there's the menu that comes up it gives you a choice of what you want to save I'm just gonna go save all please wait and then it, when that comes up again that's okay here's one I did earlier just a very simple one click it I'll just go load all okay and that's how you use the save sticks phew well that's everything that's the end of my tutorial i hope you found it useful and simple to understand and i hope it cleared up any confusion you might have had as well if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and i will try to answer them please like and subscribe and i will see you next time goodbye